What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Battle of the Super Tube Pedals. Uh, but not really. It's just kind of a comparison between the two for fun. Um, I love both of them, and we'll get our final thoughts uh, at the end of the video. Um, but let's just uh, explain the pedals real quick. So this is the Ibanez Super Tube. It's from about 1984. It's from the Master Series. They only made it one year, or maybe two. I'm not sure. But uh, I've long admired this pedal. I've had it for numerous years. I've got a couple of them. They're killer. They've got the same chip as the uh, TS-10 that are, you know, TS-10s are getting like seven, 800 bucks on, uh, on reverb right now. And this has the same chip. It actually has two of them. And uh, it's a really cool pedal uh, sleeper, you know, but anyway, and then the uh, ST9 Pro Plus by Maxon. I, by the way, this is made by Maxon as well. Um, the ST9 Pro Plus is kind of the new modern updated version of the Super Tube uh, that they had back in the the uh, 9 series Super Tube that they had way back in the day. Uh, by the way, yes, I know that Cannibal Corpse uh, uses this. They use it with the low boost on, I think, which is like not my thing at all. And this has absolutely nothing to do with Cannibal Corpse. And I wasn't inspired to do this by Cannibal Corpse. So I'll just get that out of the way. Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just thought we'd just, you know, take a look at both pedals, listen to them in a mix, out of a mix, on and off, all that fun stuff. Going to use a Mesa Boogie uh, Revision F uh, dual rectifier. It's got six L6s in it. And then um, I'm going to also use a 1980 Marshall JMP 2203. It's got EL34s in it. And uh, just going to, you know, toggle the pedals on and off, in and out of a mix. And we'll get some thoughts later. Here we go.
So that was fun. Um, you know, initial reactions are, to me at least, were that this is way more, uh, has way more output and is way more aggressive. Uh, the mid enhanced knob is kind of more effective uh, at poking through and actually tightening up the bottom end. Um, this has the bite knob on it, which is the same thing as the mid control. They're placed in different spots in the circuit, though. This They're not the exact same pedal by any stretch. Um, so that's why I compare a direct comparison is just kind of for fun. They're not, you know, I'm not trying to beat one or the other. Uh, that being said, I probably did like this one overall better. It depends. This one I really liked with a Marshall because it wasn't as bright and the Marshall didn't need uh, to add that kind of brightness or, uh, all that mid range. Whereas the dual rec kind of, uh, really benefited from this. But that being said, man, I liked this on the dual rec. I liked, I mean, I liked them both, but overall, uh, this guy for the modern metal kind of thing, especially with the dual rec is kind of hard to beat. It's really, really badass pedal, not very talked about all the time. I mean, yeah, people got them and there's some videos on them, but they're not super, super popular. But, um, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it, man. Thanks for uh, checking it out. We'll see you next time.